feminine beauty standards. A concept that is being challenged in our modern day society and for very good reasons, because it is just the big corporate overlords, the people that lead the world that are trying to gatekeep all the rest of us telling us what is feminine, what is not feminine, what does it mean to be a woman, and what does it mean to not be a woman. And it's some really absurd things. For example, it's associated to be more feminine, to have no body hair at all, in comparison to just having a little bit of body hair being seen as a masculine, de-womanizing thing, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't know. But basically those beauty standards that are set by society are pretty damn bad and we're luckily breaking them down every now and again. We're starting to see it's more normal for women to still have body hair and still feel like women. It's okay to wear more masculine clothes and still feel like a woman. And the same goes the other way around. You can still have more feminine clothing as a man and still feel like a man. But I am transgender. And I don't know if this counts for every transgender person. It doesn't. It doesn't count for every transgender person. It doesn't. But still, there's a lot of transgender people that really want to lean into whatever they know as is associated with the gender that they would like to present as. Um, so yeah, they just end up grasping for anything. Anything that slightly gives them that euphoria and makes them feel more feminine slash masculine. Which means that a lot of trans people end up being subject to even the most torturous aspects and ideas that come from the beauty industry. Which is why I bought this. This is an epilator. And in case you don't know what an epilator is, it's basically a type of shaving equipment, except it is not shaving. It is not simply gliding across the hairs on your body and removing them and then having to shave again after two days because it keeps growing back out again. No, this one tears them from your body, tears them from your mortal vessel and removes them permanently. Not really, but just for quite a while at least. I don't know, man. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. But yeah, I saw that uh, Cynthia was actually doing this in one of her videos where she tried an epilator. She couldn't stand it because she's a wuss. So not only did I buy an epilator, I bought the shoddiest, cheapest brand epilator that I could get that is probably gonna break apart my skin before it ever does anything helpful to it, like removing hairs or what I want. But I've been waiting for this for quite a while, so why not let's get into it. I've opened the box once, but as you can see, all the stuff inside is still covered in plastic. Here it is. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, it's actually, oh, wait, it's wired. This looks so much like something that should be wireless though. You know, like a razor, right? But it's not. Oh my God, look at that though. That looks terrible. But yeah, this is about as close as we're probably gonna get to torture on the channel. So I'm, is that just supposed, does that just go like, it, it doesn't need like a, it's not like a, it doesn't need like a guard or anything? This is not gonna be fun. This is gonna tear my skin off. Okay, but anyways, um, to show what we're working with here, as you can see, ab you can absolutely fucking not see anything. <laughs> but I don't have a lot of hair on my body. I, it's not the worst thing in the world. I have like Korean genes, so I'm not the hairiest person on earth. But as you can see, I still have like some hair around the body. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Hey, you can see my face as well. But I have a little bit of hair on my arms and that's where I'm gonna try starting out with this thing. But yes, I'm also not just being scandalous. I'm wearing a big shirt in order to maybe have more access to some places that I may try to epilate later on. I'm not comfortable with this. Let's not be a wuss about it. This is, there's so many women that do this every day. So how bad can be? It tore my hairs off. Wait, no, did it? I'm gonna try to go slow. Ow! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, it feels like a light stinging. Fuck, though. Ow, my fucking God, ow. It's actually very smooth there now. You can't sell on this camera at all, but um, it's actually pretty smooth there. Sorry, I'm gonna get to some places that are more, I don't know. I, do I even have any, like really, hair? I don't know. I, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Just need to get used to the pain. Get used to the pain. Get used to... Did it even tear, did it even tear anything out or did it just cut them in half? I don't know, that's the thing, I don't know. There's hair all over my table now. But oh well, that's like my arm, that's like the least visible place on earth. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see the next bond, but we're gonna have to move on to the place that women have to deal with probably the most.
this part. And for this occasion, I'm gonna be wearing shorts. Look at them, aren't they a damn pair? I haven't worn shorts since I was freaking 16 years old. Now I am not going to take my socks off because uh, I do not want to end up on wiki feet. But as you can see here, it's a little more hairy than my arm situation. This is certainly a type of camera angle that I have never recorded. Please don't take this out of context. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, did that do anything at all? I don't know, but it hurt like a... I cannot honestly tell if it's pulling at my skin or anything. I, I can't tell. There's no way to tell. This is gonna fucking suck, everyone. There, I have covered no ground. This is the slowest mo This actually, like, I, I, this is probably, like, tattoo process. What a tattoo process is gonna feel like. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Woo! But look, I, 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 this is gonna be gross. I am so sorry. But look, it's actually like you can't. My camera refuses to focus, and I'm not refocusing my camera, so you can get a closer look at that. But it's actually doing things. And I gotta admit, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like it's bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. What about the other leg? Can you see that leg any better? I doubt it. I don't think you can see goddamn anything. Oh god. Are you beginning to be able to see the little hair pile? Yeah, you are. It's gross. I'm well aware. I am sorry. What about like higher up on the thigh? I'm assuming the closer like to center mass, the more it's gonna hurt, so. Ah! Oh, oh. That's not even funny. That's not funny. People do this? Good God, I need like a drink or something to go with this. <laughs> you know what I was gonna do? I was actually gonna try doing it on my armpit. But that's gonna hurt so bad. If I can't, I, I, if I can barely do this on my leg, man. Like, what, what am I gonna do? But see, this is why I have an easy access sort of shirt on. You can't, maybe you can't see. I do have a little bit of a stubble on my underarm because purposely for this episode, I, I wanted that to, I don't know, be an option. But I mean, man. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna, I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. But I'm gonna. <laughs> oh! You all, I know what you're thinking right now, okay? Don't act like you're a smart ass. I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking the exact same thing that I thought when I saw like Cynthy do this. I was like, oh, you know, who would have with a bitch? It's easy, but no. <sighs> There's nothing easy about this. And doing that, just imagining the fucking, like I know the worst place, like amongst the worst places you could possibly decide to get tattooed would be like on your pits. So why would I stimulate that pain there? Ah, 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 Jesus, ow, fuck. Oh, it hit my arm. Ah, oh my God. I'm very sorry about the unpleasant view, by the way, but whatever. Markiplier ripped his pubes off in a video with wax. I'm pretty sure I can freaking do this with my armpit. But yeah, the thing is just, the, it's so bad. It, it, it's like, it, it's just, it's, excuse me. It's just so much like meticulous little stinging for not a lot. It, it feels like I'm, I have to sit forever with this thing in order to do anything.
<sighs> it has now been... I don't know, how long has it been? It's been like, what, 15 minutes? 20 minutes? Holy crap. And I've been epilating, and I think almost finally finished my entire left leg. This is a process that sure as shit takes a while. That much can be said, and I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> I'm starting to like have the the the, the slight pain uh, sweats, which is pretty bad. This is just a gross episode overall, and I'm so so sorry. You can also see all the hair I've accumulated. This is just gross overall. I am very sorry, but I will actually say, as bad as that seemed in the first place. You got used to it pretty quick. There were some areas that still kind of sucked, like the knee and still like some parts of my upper thigh for some reason. My inner thigh was actually not bad at all. I thought my inner thigh would be much more of a problem. But hey, now I have a way more shiny, um, hairless leg. As you can see, my leg is quite smooth now, which is quite nice. But it's not like perfect or anything. It still misses a lot of hairs and that means that they're gonna grow out again faster, which sucks. But I can imagine if you do this epilation thing a lot more often, your body will get used to it very quickly and I don't know, I think it'll be better than shaving over long term and it's not so bad. It's, it's painful for the first like 10 minutes and then it's not that bad. The thing is just there's a lot of parts on the human body that you can epilate so you gotta get each of those parts used to pain, which yeah, I've been told the worst is probably the armpits and the Bikini line. Oh god, no. I can technically... You guys won't be able to see this, so shush, stop be being awkward. No, I wouldn't. Would I? I've moved my camera for privacy reasons. Oh, ow. Now I can't prove to you, I can't prove to you that I just um, epilated my bikini line because fuck you. But that still actually gotta admit, wasn't as absolutely awful as I thought it would be. Same with the armpit. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse and uh, it wasn't that bad, but who knows? Maybe my nerves are shot to shit. Maybe I still have some medication left over from yesterday. I have no idea. Uh, or maybe it's just the fact that I have a non-sensitive inner thigh which I only consider a bonus, I guess, since I want like tattoos and stuff in the future. So I guess that it'll only serve my benefit and it'll make epilating a lot easier. So would I recommend epilating? Maybe if like it's important to you that you have like less body hair or stuff like that, uh, you would like to have a more, you would like to maybe, I don't know, cosplay a Marvel statue or something. And I'm not gonna judge. But then epilating would probably be the easiest way to go. It's uh, pretty painful for the first couple of minutes, but as soon as your body gets used to it, it's not that bad. And now my leg just feels silky smooth. And that's also why you see my hands moving. But uh, yeah, uh, ladies, anyone who wanna feel feminine out there, um, don't feel any pressure to like have to shave and stuff all the time. I get it's absolutely annoying and trying to keep yourself completely like marble clean by shaving. That's an absolute nightmare. You have to shave like every two days or something if you want to keep it consistent. So yeah, don't feel bad about yourself, ladies. Just because I am buying into this stupid torture device does not mean that you have to. Although if you want to, then the pain isn't in, at least in my case, isn't as bad as people have told me. But anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I doubt you got anything unless you're sort of a sadist and you just enjoyed my pained facial expressions. But still, I don't know, I hope it was informative slash helpful slash entertaining slash nice to watch, I guess. And I hope I taught you a bit more about the tortures of uh, standardized feminine beauty. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please do remember to leave a like down below. It lets me know what pivots to your interest. Do remember to hit that subscribe button as well because it keeps me going even when the going does get tough. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I have to get back to plating my entire body. Oh my god, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.